Hand in Hand Outdoors is a 501c3 nonprofit organization formed in Utah several years ago. It was a dream, a meeting of the minds of men and women who had a passion to serve our community. We, we provide outdoor resources for wounded warriors, disabled veterans, children with disabilities, and others with disabilities. Towards that end, we build a 35-foot boat that will accommodate six wheelchairs or 18 people. Daily, that boat is upon the water, filled with many wheelchairs and our disabled veterans. This is a way for us at Hand in Hand to thank our veterans, to provide opportunities, and to open new doors to children with disability who otherwise might never have that opportunity. As you can imagine, this is a very expensive proposition. But thanks to a community filled with wonderful people, in 2013, we had 538 people aboard our boats. In addition, there were many other activities that were, we were involved in. It takes a whole community to make an organization like this work. Because we always have uh, counselors and psychiatrists aboard the boat and nurses on occasion. We saw that there was an interaction that they were able to share things with their brother in arms that they might not for in the Vietnam veterans experience maybe for 40 years been able to talk about. As they interfaced with their brothers and sisters in arms, they started shedding this cocoon that they have worn. And uh, the nightmares and the agony they suffered through all these decades begin to disappear. And, and that is extremely gratifying, as you might can imagine. These experiences that we provide are changing lives, making this a better place to live in. Many children in wheelchairs, particularly children with disabilities, never have had the opportunity to be aboard a boat, let alone fish. And when these children come aboard, it is truly a remarkable experience. They spend perhaps their first day ever on the water. They catch their first fish, those smiles, those laughs as the waves from the lake and the spray cross their faces are, it's just indescribable. And for that, we are grateful.